There was a time when resources seemed endless. But in 2030, the great energy crisis began. With hardly any resources left on our world, global powers created the World Space Agency to look beyond the Earth for answers. The answer was found in Helium-3, a powerful isotope discovered in abundance on the Moon. With it, humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades to come. And so, in 2032, mankind colonized the Moon. Spearheaded by the Lunar Council, the WSA constructed several permanent settlements to harvest and process Helium-3. The resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network, the Microwave Power Transmission, or MPT. For a time, all seemed well. Then, one fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. No energy. The MPT had gone offline, and communication with the lunar colonists was lost. Without earthly resources to launch a full-scale rescue mission to the Moon, the World Space Agency was shut down permanently in 2055. But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT, they've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch an astronaut to the moon. What awaits is unknown and unforeseeable, but the mission is clear. Deliver us the moon. Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome to Deliver Us The Moon, a brand new series on my YouTube channel. And yeah, I am super excited about this game. This should be super exciting, super cool, super, uh, well, amazing, I hope. So, um, settings, subtitles are on, that's good. Um, I see, okay. That's apparently our uh, bindings. Bindings, okay. So, roll left, roll right, flashlight, interact, okay. S jump, walk slowly. Uh, zoom, fire, scan, zoom, move camera. Alright, I see. Audio. So, overall quality is epic. <laughs> An epic quality. Um, might see if this okay everything is set to epic we might just see if this is good or if this caused some lags or so we will see if my computer is uh, powerful enough so yeah um deliver us a moon a new game exciting intro let's do this i would say wsa instead of esa nice nice touch very nice touch new game Loading. All right, we are loading a lot, I guess. Still loading. of the missing lunar colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecast of the equatorial desert's growth rate. As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's landmass. Several governments have pledged support for refugees, despite reports of resource shortages. The dust storm is expected to hit residential zones between the northern 49th and 50th oh, latitude lines. Oh, we're playing, we're playing. Ah, I see. That's cool. 
That's nice. But I still think... Yeah, um, okay, the controls are a little bit weird. I don't know if Epic is... Fortuna, are you there? If, 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 if Epic is, is really the, the right setting, let's, let's just do this as settings. Let's go back to graphics and let's maybe say overall quality. Let's try medium. Let's try medium. This is now smoother. Resume. Yeah, I, I think I think this is better. At least on my side, I, I think I, it's better. It's okay. Inspect. Let's let's inspect something. Uh, turn left, turn right, read back. Ground launch sequencer. Orbital access arm. Auxiliary power units. Yes, event launch sequence. Do or do I have to? You have done it a thousand times before during our simulations. We know you can do this. Good luck, Claire. Oh, read. What happens when I have hit read? Ah, I see. Okay. Uh, second stage, stage separation. Do do I need to memorize all those things, or um, can? Uh, do I get some? Start the mission. Do you copy? Yeah, yeah. Toggle. Okay. Inspect. Moonman, far crossing. A brave astronaut ventures to the moon. His mission to explore the lunar expanse and uncover its mysteries. While the road is desolate and the hardships many. He knows that he must persevere to save mankind. Very nice. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Anything else? Can we can we grab a bottle of beer or whatever the thing is? Can we? Okay, we can't read this book. We can't access a briefcase. Ooh, bright! So bright. We can't interact with those things. MPT online. Is it working yet? Okay. Um, reach. Oh, this this is easier. The microwave power transmission MPT generates power inside a fusion reactor and sends its wireless to receivers on Earth, fueled by helium-3 harvested on the Moon. While the MPT took over a decade to complete, the energy signal traveled rapidly from the lunar colony to Earth. The World Space Agency believes in the MPT can transmit enough energy from the colony's fusion reactor to supply approximately 20% of the Earth's population. That percentage is expected to rise quickly. In another decade, the MPT could power all of Earth, said Dr. Isaac Johansson, the agency's lead scientist. Earth will never be in the dark again. Backside, is it working yet? Yes, we already uh, found this. Zoom. Uh -huh. WSA, take off. Mission to find new energy sources. Hoping for magic solution. All right. World celebrates hope and mourns our tragedy. Hey, this is. This is isn't this the original uh, photo of Buzz Aldrin on the moon? Okay, can we for human ten for you for humanity for the future? All right. Uh, can we? Yeah, yeah. In just a moment, Claire. Just a moment. Press. No, I don't want to press this one. True, I think this is a suit. This is a suit we've done in just a moment. Um, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, can I somehow answer her call or the only thing I can do to press the button? I think the only thing I can do is press the button, right? Well, let's press it. Ooh, my suit. Can I grab? Right, let's let's grab the suit. Ooh. Ground control to Fortuna One. This is Claire. Please confirm radio contact. Okay, that's that's me, I guess. 
cap. WSA, welcome. Confirm contact. Okay. Radio contact confirmed. Make your way to the launch platform and prime the rocket for liftoff. We have to launch before the dust storm hits. What? I mean, why am I the one who has to set up the rocket? I mean, don't we have a ground crew that can do all those things? I'm, I'm the freaking astronaut. Normally, other people do this for me. Why, why am I in charge of getting the rocket ready? Enter the Fiesenkopf launch facility. Equip the astronaut suit. Okay, we did this. Tools. Okay. All right. Guess that's me. Uh, and we just playing this from the third person perspective or can we can we also also change to let's let's see settings bindings we can rule flashlight and deck control walk zoom okay so I guess we there there is no chance to oh no okay Five years after the blackout. Ooh, there's my rocket. The Taurus 5. Taurus 5. Four years to get her ready for launch. But you need to hurry. The dust storm will hit this area in a few hours. If we don't succeed now, the Fortuna mission will be over for good. So, and why am... Um, why... Hmm. I mean, when it take, took us such a long time, then why... why why am I now... Scan? Ah, scan. Tap database. Okay, created by Isaac... Network dish, tools. Com device, flashlight, astro tool, oculus. Flashlight. Okay. So we, we do have a lot of things. Network dish. The mission. Created by Isaac Johansson. The MPT transmitted power from the moon to the air through a network of satellite dishes. Since Isaac's disappearance during the 2454, uh, 2054 blackout, Claire Johansson has studied her father's work closely in preparation for the Fortuna mission. Data recovery. The Astro True has detected scattered trace of information. Okay. So, a lot of static noise, I guess. Alright, that's fine. There something? Oh, I think this was just. Shift sprint. Why? Why should I sprint? I'd like to investigate all the other things here first. And why am I wearing my complete suit? Why am I not seeing? Oh, the door. The doors open. Guess we can. Uh oh, now we have first person perspective. I see. It's a girl, Isaac and Elizabeth, Kathy Christina Johansson, Daddy, Mummy, Teddy, me, Claire. Aha, uh -huh, I see. MPT and the Age of Wires. So I guess he wrote a book. More amazing pictures. Okay, let's flush the toilet. <laughs> I see. Scan. Database. Elizabeth kept the Johansson family together after her husband Isaac assumed a role of on the lunar council after her death. Claire took care of her sister Kathy before she was taken to the moon to live with Isaac. Both Isaac and Kathy have not been seen since the blackout. 
Alrighty then. So we, we can discover a lot of data, I guess. Kathy. Claire. Teddy. Mom. Okay, I see. Sputnik. Can we get in here? What that? Flip. Ooh. Oh, this was <laughs> a bit anticlimactic. <laughs> this was really a bit anticlimactic. I thought now something super cool would happen. Oh, oh scan. Database. Sputnik Monument. A monument marks the entrance to the Fezenkov Cosmodrome. The facility was abandoned until the Fortuna team made it their base of operations after the blackout and began preparations for humanity's last mission to space. The sign reads, To the Stars! Indeed, to the stars. That's where we added, to the stars. Alright. But this looks cool. It's very cool. Toggle, climb. Okay, let's let's climb before we toggle something. Oh, he, he no, I just want to say he does it on its own. Warning, high voltage. Turn. Do do I need to turn this or do I not need to turn this? Well, let's let's turn it. Yeah, my friend, this is. I mean, you you said there are multiple persons involved in this transaction and in this general situation of getting everything ready. Why am I now alone here and why am I in charge of getting the the elevator working? I mean... Ted, I see you're on your way up to the facility. The control center is located on the top floor. There you can prime the rocket for launch. Yeah, wh why, why me? Well, always me. I mean, when here are so many other people who work together to assemble an entire rocket. It's been five years since we last received a microwave power transmission from the lunar colony. At first, no one believed it would be possible to transmit energy from the moon back to Earth. But the WSA proved the skeptics wrong. Just like you will when you get the MPT back online. Yeah, that's great, but I mean, when there are so many people involved, why, why is it my job to get the rocket now ready? I mean, and to fix the elevator. Aren't there other people here? Am I am I now completely alone? Flashlight. Um, hour. Okay. Can we can we flashlight this guy a little bit better? Why is it dark here? I mean, I, I don't really have... Why is the vending machine damaged? I mean, I, I, I don't really trust your operations anymore, my friend. Uh, collect. If power... What? If power is out, use code 3548 for the door. What? <laughs> um, Tap objective. Objective. All right. Find the code to gain access. So find control to prime the rocket. Use code to gain access. Okay. I mean, this this does not really increase my my trust in the entire operation when um, when 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 I have when we have power shortages and whatnot. I mean our future. So in the act. Okay, what was this? Uh, 3548? 
okay, three, five, four, eight. Correct. Pull. Ooh. Yeah, I'm completely alone here, but this is so weird. Maintenance saves lives. The MPT is keeping our families alive. Do not get it offline. Every day we work for the safety of our loved ones. I see. This building once functioned as part of the WSA, but it's been our home for many years now. I still can't believe you'll be leaving here for good soon. The desertification of this whole region won't take long after the storm passes through. I find it interesting that there's a toothbrush lying around. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm still not entirely convinced about this operation. I mean, we do have Space Tech Magazine, a Blackout, What Happened to the MPT, Life Without the MPT. All right, let's see. In this ed edition, we invite world-renowned scientists to discuss what could have caused the MPT to remain offline, what might have happened to the lunar colonists, and how humanity should move forward. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it does not really... really increases my, my trust in the entire operation when... when I'm alone here. I mean... No one is here, I have to get the rocket ready and so on. That, that's weird. This is just toggle. Cool. <laughs> yeah, no one is here. No one is working here. What? what, what what's this all about? Inspect. Huygens in memoriam in memoriam Huygens malfunction malfunction okay uh, zoom zoom what during the Huygens malfunction we had comments comes with earth the blackout is dif different flow does the whole colony go silence how does it... what happened up there? Yeah, I don't know what happened up there. Interact! Woo! <laughs> ah. Zoom. Scan! Alright, uh, objective. MPT network. How to get it working again. Earth, Pierce, Moon, Fortuner, find the controls, yeah, um, Fortuner, determined to seek the truth about 2054 blackout and restore the MPT connection, Maria Gonzalez has raised the Fortuner team from the ashes of the WSA. Since 2055, Maria's team has been uh, secretly working on their mission. Yeah, secretly m working on the mission, but no one is here. Guys, why is no one here? Why am I alone? This can I? I can scan it. Database. ACE unit. One of the few survivors of the 2048 Hugens cryosleep malfunction. Maria brought her damaged ASE unit back to Earth with her. She's been trying to repair the ASE in hopes of restoring holographic recordings captured by the device during her time at the Hugens research facility. Uh huh. Interact. Uh, dear Sarah, we met years ago after the Pearson Space Station. I was relieved from service after I remember we talked about ASE. I'm looking for a way to interact. Maria Gonzalez. Hi Maria. Yeah, I remember holographic data runs through a unique hardware component. I specialized more in software cache. So can we inspect? 
fluoxetine, anti, 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 anti depressant. Inspect in memory on to those lost during the high Huygens. We don't forget everyone we've lost that day. Uh huh. I think they they well something something went wrong I guess. Fortuna. All right. Hello? Am anyone here? No one is here. Why is no one here? What's what that? This. An engine. Control center. This entire operation does not seem very trustworthy, my friends. Just saying, just saying, you you should... I'm not quite sure why, why I should jump into your rocket when you... leave all those things lying around. Control center. Huh? Aha. Uh -huh. Can I... Grab, ah! It's like Tomb Raider. Flashlight. All right, let's let's do some flashlightling lightning. Nothing. I mean for for the fact that you assembled an entire rocket here. <laughs> I find it a little bit awkward that everything is it's not re very clean, not tidy. It it looks like if, as if everyone has evacuation notice. What? Please proceed outside the freezing surface between September 15th and 16th. Aha. Hey, let's let's have some uh, orange or color. Ooh, lion. Yeah, my friends, I'm I'm not. Beer punk. <laughs> I win. I see. Yep. <laughs> I'm still a little bit. I don't get it exactly what we are doing here. I mean, I should get something ready. With the, hmm. <laughs> this is so weird, this game. Alright, here's nothing. Toggle. What, what, I can toggle something. Ooh, I can... Can I... Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay, so... Fortuna is... One is a go. Thank you, everyone. Right. Inspect. Everyone in and around the facility must be, re must be ready outside the building at 5. At the rendezvous. Alright. Yeah. Claire's office. Aha, listen. We've isolated three plausible causes for the MPT blackout. One, the transmitter at Pearson Space Station. Claire, there you are. Come on, we're celebrating in the other room. Everyone is looking for you. I need to go over this one last time, Maria. We've been over it before multiple times. We're good. Come. It's time to join the party. It won't take long. I'll be right there. A true Johansson. Once he set his mind to something, I could never convince him either. You're just as stubborn as your father. <laughs> Probably the only thing we have in common. 
I, I just don't understand why he didn't restore the MPT connection. He invented the damn thing. And now it's just us. No one else is even trying. If we fail... Remember what I told you. If it can be done, then we're going to do it. That's all we have to focus on. Go over your notes. Join us when you're ready. All right. Crosses of the blackout. All right. Ooh. Engine. Scan. Database. Claire's rocket model, recruited straight out of university, Claire Johansson designed the Taurus V rocket for the Fortuna mission. Claire was eager to join the team and cover the fates of her father and sister on the moon out of the 2054 blackout. Yeah, but where where is Claire? Claire, where are you? Inspect. What can I inspect here? Uh, custody. Supreme Court of the United Kingdom. Read. Dear Mrs. Johansson, the court rules that the father Isaac Johansson, as the next of kin, kind, has been granted full custody over Kathy Christina Johansson after the mother Elizabeth Johansson's untimely death. As her current guardian, you are or ordained. <coughs> to ensure that Kathy is brought for safe passage to the moon to be reunited with her father sincerely. Okay. That's so good. Okay, we have once again the the individual steps. Ground launch sequencer, orbital access arm, auxiliary power. I'm, I'm quite sure those things are coming important, but I, I, I would find it useful if we have them. Crypto transmission. All right, uh, we already be listed to this static all right I think we listened to this already the malfunction all right um, I hope we we have those things also in the rocket available I would say we will continue next time because I'm not sure what what will happen now. So I think this is a perfect opportunity to um, yeah have a break. I hope you enjoyed this um, series so far, and I hope you will be joining me next time. Until then, my name is Abby. See you. Thank you.